I didn't know you were, requ you were, you were requesting that I work it. I, oh, thought, I you wasn't just, I thought you were just going I was work commanding. It. I was commanding. It's a little different. Is That's probably a little rude given our relationship. We should be at the requesting phase, not the command phase. That's pretty messed up. Well, I know how to do a command in Spanish. Oh. Uh, key. Come here. Ah. It's the one I use the most. For my Spanish, uh, nope. I'm not gonna make that joke. Alright! What's going on, everyone? I don't know what's going on. Nothing's going on. We're doing a video. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is the Southern California Comics Weekly Video Update, which has no other title, alternate, or sub. Today, a customer came in to talk about how much he enjoyed the show that young Daniel and I here do. And he tells me to tell Danny that he agrees with me that this show should be called The Sundown Rundown. Is that true, or did you make that up? That, my friends, is 100% true. Well, thank you, one person who likes it. <laughs> oh, so that's how it's well, going to be. I guess, you're, I, guess, I guess he or she is second. <laughs> So, that's currently two to one. I'm currently outnumbered, yeah, yeah. so I guess that's all right. Anyway, I'm Danny, <laughs> I'm, and very unhappy. <laughs> I'm Rob, and I'm thoroughly amused. <laughs> We're going to tell you about some of the notable books of the week. Yes, we are. Do you want to go first, or should I go first? I would love for you to go first. All right. New from iMage Comics. It's Valhalla Mad Number 1. This is Joe Casey of, of such books as Sex and uh, The Bounce and Miami Vice Remix you know, and Paul Mayberry, the artist. When you put them in order like that, it sounds like all of his books are about sex. Sex, The Bounce, and then my... <laughs> the Bounce was about weed. I'm just saying, it <laughs> sounds like in that order, but yeah. continue. Um, I don't know what Valhalla Mad is about because it doesn't matter to me what's, it, it's a, what it's about because I'm going to buy it anyway. Yes. But it's on some Thor type stuff. They're like Valhalla's and they're mad. It's gonna be wacky. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be nuts. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Paul Mayer Berry's art is so good, by the way. Chiggity check it. Really nice animated style. I also so, like listening to you say his last name. Mayberry? I just like the sound of it. It's, Mayberry. It's very pleasant. Well, thank you. You know, the Mayberries are in season. <laughs> uh, also from I Mage is. Ghosted 20, oh my god, I should have read this before I said it. It is just 20. I did look at that. That's why I was confused. Like, that's a book you read, right? Yes? Yes. I do that all the time. I'm like, I'd be like, uh, Valhalla Mad Number, I don't know what this is. Oh, one. Right? Like, I was going to read this. <laughs> like, I've read every issue up until now. I yeah. still couldn't tell you. I don't what know what, I read Saga, don't know what issue it's on. Why bother? 27. It's always like, 27. Yeah, that, that seems like a solid bet. What issue is it on? Doesn't matter. <laughs> um... Ghosted, I think I may have said I love this series before. You remember? You've told me. I, to, I told maybe, you, maybe not that's right. Camera. I just uh, use him as a surrogate for the audience. You guys are one and the same. Uh, I remember I had the series described to me as Ocean's Eleven meets Ghostbusters. Yeah. And that was the first volume. It really was. That to a T. And, and it's a murder. And then after that, it's gotten much wilder, much crazier. And I just, I like Josh Williamson. He also does um, Birthright. He does Nailbiter. He's, he's just a good guy. <laughs> I can't believe that's 20 issues in now. I can't believe it either. Are, like, Are we sure they're not just like changing the numbers to mess with us? I, yeah, I wouldn't actually discount that idea. Hmm. But it's, it's kind of like, it feels like we're reading it too. It's like, oh man, it's already been so many. Especially, you know, you're going to have to say his last name. Goron Suzuka. Suzuka. Yeah. Just Suzuka. No. No. Nah. Suzuka. Yeah. His art, like, it's it, it flows so well. Like you're reading it and then it's done and you're like, my God, my eyes, I want to do this again. Speaking of art, maybe. You know what I want to do again? Oh. Okay. Is see the film Mad Max Fury Road. I want to see it in the first. It's place. real good. I don't want to. I don't want to overhype it, but it's so good. <laughs> and uh, DC is putting out little one shot comics, five dollars for some. Uh, Backstory stuff on the Fury Road characters, written by uh, the screenwriters of the film, George Miller on story, uh, the other guys on the uh, script. Oh, really nice art. Really nice. Art. Yeah, this one, this this one is about Immortal Joe and Nux. You don't know who they are yet, no. but you'll find out and you'll be excited. Joy. Yeah, check out the art. Real nice, real color palette of the movie. I think it's gonna be a good read. <laughs> Gray and brown. <laughs> Orange and blue. Oh. For the Gators colors. Hmm. Football. It's a sport. Check it out. Catch it. Wow. Wow. You done? <laughs>
So anyway, so <laughs> there once was a man named Dan Marino. Never mind. <laughs> Football. That's all I know. Go on, tell us about E8HT. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about this book. But the name of the book is also in the title, in the form of a number. That's eight. Or apparently, as you should read it if you you know know English, is a eight. Is it the um, sequel to seven? If only. I would love to do that. Just write a series, and each book would be. That's not important. Um, eight is. It's not a time travel world. I mean, Isn't it? there's there's time travel, but there's also, like, an area outside of time. Um. I like. Raphael Aubrey, I think his stuff is great. Mm -hmm. um, his work on American Vampire is phenomenal. And then uh, I just I've really been into time travel and AU stories lately. Uh, Black Science, Chrononauts, like all of these things have really, really been holding my attention. And so when I heard Eight was coming out, I was like, Yeah, I already know I like this guy. I should read his stuff. I'm trying desperately to find out what this other dude does. Uh, Mike Johnson helped with the script. <laughs> The credits page. I was doing a really good job of keeping going during that time period. It's, it's great if you're into that kind of thing. Which you should be. You know what I'm into? People kicking other people. Yes. Hard. Hard. And Master of Kung Fu is a battle world, a uh, secret war spinoff in the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really have to care about that because it's just people kicking each other. Shang-Chi. Um, probably Iron Fist. If Iron Fist isn't in this, I'd be very surprised. But, I know, right? But this, uh, this isn't like a super duper tie-in. You gotta read anything else. It's a uh, just like a '70s uh, kung fu picture inspired romp. It's by uh, W. Hayden Blackman, who did uh, what's that thing? Bad that woman. woman back in the day. And the art is by Dalibor Talayik, who um, did some stuff you probably didn't read. Hit Monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. okay. Yeah, he's a really good artist. Um, has not done anything of value in wow. terms of like the people he's worked with until today. Master Kung Fu. Way better than Hit, Hit Monkey. Guaranteed. 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 All right. You heard it here. If he's wrong, there are no consequences. Literally no consequences. <laughs> <laughs> we can make any claim whatsoever. Like, this claim I'm going to make next, which is this is the most single important issue of comics to ever come out ever is RG versus Predator. And that's not entirely an exaggeration. I'm sure many of you out there were waiting for RG versus Predator in your life. Uh, if you somehow managed to miss the first one, this is the second one, which is not, so you should go get the first one, and then you should get this one. Because the first one really, it, it really is just Archie and then the Predator's there. And then this one is definitely more of a marriage of the two, and it's beautiful because it's still Archie style art, and that is really what sells me on it. Because you know, Afterlife with Archie, I think is amazing, but it's a uh, Francesco Francavilla. Francavilla, yeah. Villa. And I love his stuff, don't get me wrong. It's amazing, very 70s movie poster-esque. Yes. Um, but that kind of made it a little less Archie for yeah. me. Which I think is kind of the point with right. that one. But this one's like hardcore, this is the Archie-verse. But yeah, Fernando Ruiz's Archie art is just, it's as Archie as it gets. And then, you know, violence. It's like Predator in the Archie style. Yeah, and that's really what tells me, although this cover makes me want an Archie versus Predator series entirely drawn by Dustin Lin. I'm with you there. Alright, guaranteed best book of the week, no contest, Optic Nerve number 14. Adrian Tomine, he rarely, claims. he rarely puts these out. He's the last, like, alternative cartoonist to still put out, like, single issues, pretty much. Oh, am I out of center? That sucks. <laughs> for y'all. Anyway, it's real good. Um, you don't have to read any other comic book to enjoy these short stories in this one. I think they might be short stories. Yeah, a few different stories in this. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, see, that's why I wasn't picking up. I thought that you did have to read more. Now oh. I don't think that. And so... It's uh, really emotional, really amazingly drawn. This is a dude who draws stuff for the New Yorker now. Wow. So, like, you know, he gets paid. This is like that was passion magical. stuff. Yeah, right? This is dope. Pick it up. We got a few copies. Come get it. Dope. So so far, we've done kind of, kind of, you know, lesser company on the lesser. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Little, whoa. little uh, fringe stuff. Little. Yeah. Little off the I mean, we, we did we did one Marvel, but I think one of the the big big series that come out from Marvel this week was the new A Force. Of course. Uh, G Willow Wilson, Margaret Bennett. 
and the art is I know Jorge it's not Alfred. <laughs> no, Alfred Molina Jr. Dr. Octagonopus. Did you, did you call him Dr. Octagon? Dr. Octagonopus. Oh. Yeah. Um, I feel you. Uh, it's, it's really a brilliant first issue. I was expecting good things. I like um, you Wilson's like writing. Uh, I think, you know, Miss Marvel's been one of my favorite series. It's so well, good. Um, Margaret Bennett is sort of hit or miss with me. I like some of her stuff and some of her other stuff I just don't even pay attention to. Mm -hmm. um, but this first issue was really solid, uh, especially because, you know, this Avengers team is, is all women, but the leader you would think would be Medusa, mm -hmm. but it's actually She-Hulk. And I, cool. I love me some She-Hulk. She's my girl. So having her front and center, like, and then the characters they use, Nico from uh, Runaways, um, 70s Dazzler, 70s Dazzler, Miss America, who I think was my favorite young Avenger, and then just like they don't do anything with her, and so it's like all of my favorite you know, female characters, and it's, it's it's a good pacing, and like it doesn't feel pandering, because mm -hmm. you know something like this, a lot of unfortunately comic fans will be like, oh well they're just trying to you know make a series of well, well shut the hell up, you know what you're talking about, <laughs> this oh. series is good. Um, I know there were a couple of employees here who didn't like. But they were wrong. So, my one problem with it: why, why is it a force and not the force? The force. The force. The force. Yeah, instead of just the force. Well, they're not the definitive force. They don't want to make that claim. But they, they could be a force. Whoa, whoa! They don't want to want to step out of their line here. All right. All right. If, if that's if that's how they want, how they want to play this. They're playing conservative. Doctor Doom would not appreciate it if they were the force. Uh, fair enough. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be the force. <laughs> oh. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. I'll allow it. See? Internal logic. You heard it here first. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's all. The, I'm, I'm done. The hot, I almost said the hot topics. I I that was great that. store. Great, great thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful if you need well, Power Ranger shirts. Invader Zim merchandise in the year of our Lord 2015. They got it. They only recently started selling records. That's a little messed up. Yep. The year of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we should move on to the second segment, uh -huh. which is probably not the latest pop culture once again. It's probably about... Are you okay? Oh. You're going to be alright? Oh. <laughs> he'll live, he'll live. We're going to talk about Convergence. There's literally like three three bottles of iced coffee that's powering me right now, so I might not be in my uh, optimum game. That's fair. Convergence! Let's converge in a moment. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Convergence <laughs> continues to happen. And we continue to only talk about the previews of comics you're actually looking forward to. Yeah. Which isn't a slam convergence, it's just a little tiring because for various reasons. But it's cool that they've hired awesome artists. I would like to slam the main convergence line. I will not oh, slam the, 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 the crossover, but actual convergence, which is seven issues in now. Seven issues. Don't do it. <laughs> oh well. It's one of those things that I would actually recommend you pick up just to see. How? Hot. I'm sure I'll read it in some form, in some way. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about the backs of these things again, but I want to point out the front of this Green Lantern core, number two convergence, which has a really cute cover by Tony Harris with like arm wrestling. That's fun. I like fun. Um, what do you, you, you want to go first, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, what, yeah what's happening in Batman and the Outsiders? So, at the, uh, the end of Batman and the Outsiders, uh, things end, and then we are treated to a preview of Dan Jurgens and Bernard Chang's Batman Beyond. Sweet. If you uh, read all of Future's End, then you know who this Batman Beyond is. If you haven't, then read the preview, and I'll tell you who he is. Uh, it's not the person it usually is, but that's not important. It looks like the series is going to be great. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Show them the thing. Bernard Chang is oh, dope. This art is fantastic. Uh, I That's all I needed was this great preview, things exploding, Andrea Sorrentino-style panels that are just one color. While Sweet. things happen. That's cool. Oh, that, that's not fair. It is also, uh, also a staple of Bernard Chang's work. He did that a lot in uh, Green Lantern Corps, which is kind of what made it so cool. But very cool movie. All right. Convergence, The Flash number two. The Flash is the guy who runs fast. We're going to run fast through this and talk about the new Suicide Squad preview. Boom. They're not rebooting it, but they did hire a better color or a better artist because the original artist was garbage. 
And yeah, it looks good. There's a giant robot. There's suicides being squatted. This episode is brought to you by the letter G for garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got Conversions, the new Teen Titans. They're, Marvel. They're teenagers. They're very notable. And they're new. And now they're gone. Instead, what we have is... I, I always end up talking about this. Man. Robin, Son of Batman. a series that is both written and drawn by Patrick Gleason. Patrick Gleason was the artist previously for uh, Batman and Robin, and now the series is just Robin, and so he's taking over the art duties as well as the writing duties, and I love his art. Like, look at this panel. Look at this. Damien hitting the ground. It's so cute. It's so cute. Like, where is it? There it is. Look at that. Look at how adorable that is. So, I'm sold. Sweet. And he gets a pet. Whoa, that is crazy. I'd like that. But All right, that I'm a, is crazy. I'm gonna walk y'all through the Justice League of America convergence, in which mm. the Justice League of America converges, or something. But whatever. Batman Superman preview. Um, I believe it's being sort of rejiggered into Batman versus Superman current series. You know, to you know, stay with the uh, what you call it synergy. Synergy. So, synergy. So Greg Pak and Ardian Syaf. Um, several cool things about this preview. I'm really excited for this now. Superman drives a motorcycle. Real good. Okay. Batman comes in and punches him. Real good. Okay. Batman in his robot costume. I do love that mech suit. And here's what happens next. Oh you won't believe what happens. You won't. I didn't. Um, Superman drives his motorcycle into Batman's face. And an awesome Lex Luthor shows up. Looking awesome. It's a cool looking book. Seriously, that Le Lex Luthor is just so fly. Like, look at him. Like, this is the flyest a character's ever looked in DC Comics. <laughs> like, everyone else should take notes. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Vibe. Yeah! If Vibe was, uh... Not questionable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, well. But that, these, are good, these are good things, because... Yes, we're like, excited. We, we, we like to, you know, we like a little bit of the um, Convergence side. Uh, miniseries, thought they were cool, but it yeah. looks like post-conversions DC is going to be the bomb. And it's not like New 52 where we were like, at least I was like, wow, that's an interesting move they did. I wonder if it pays off. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't. This, these are books we're actually interested in and excited about. Yeah. Like, it's it's, it's going to be great. I think, honestly, like, I honestly think it's going to be great. I think anyone who's like, DC's not for me right now, keep your eyes open, friend. Yeah. Things are coming. Things are changing. The Wind times, they are changing. Yeah. Ooh. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Check it out. That was not a football reference. You know, it is a football reference, oh, though. No. We'll catch you next week. Oh. Because it's football. Oh. Yeah, get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That was great. Yeah, I'm a jock. <laughs> yes. And that joke was a touchdown. What?